Um, go ahead whenever you're ready. Hey guys, Andy Hayes here, Plum Deluxe founder and creator, and we're outside. Uh, here in Portland, it's been a beautiful um, spring, even though it's still February. And it's a new month, March 1st, so uh, we wanted to take a minute and tell you about all the specials that we have, because we have a lot, a lot of new teas. And so we thought we'd come outside. Um, maybe the sound, maybe there's background sounds of the uh, natural habitat here in Southeast Portland, but uh, we thought it'd be more fun. So the first thing to know is that this month is craft month for us. And so be sure to pay attention to your email, Facebook groups, um, because we're gonna have some special prizes if you show us how crafty you are. So I'll be going on all month, so no rush, um, but be sure to check that out. No matter, even if you don't feel too crafty, we're gonna still have some fun things for you. Uh, if you're super crafty, we totally wanna see what we're working on, so don't miss that. Um, the $5 tea of the month this month is Delightful Morning. So that's our Lavender Earl Grey. <clears throat> really excited about that, you know, spring florals, so um, why not get a little Oregon Lavender in your cup? Uh, I wanted to say that for those of you who love Picard, um, regardless of your feelings about the series and how that's going, uh, that Picard is going away, it has left the building, but it will be back for Earl Grey month in June. So thanks for your patience on that. Um, you know, just this time of year, supply issues can go back and forth, and so we're just trying to be mindful of what we have in stock, so appreciate that. All right, so March means spring teas, so we have four new teas. We have Coconut Lavender Chai is back. I know um, we have some diehard fans of that tea. It's a really unique tea. Coconut and lavender with spices is, you know, not something you see all the time. So be sure to check that out if you haven't tried it. Um, we have Sweet Rose back again from last year. Um, also in the lineup, I know Joey will be excited about that. Champs Elysees, which is a cherry almond tea. Um, similar to what people got in the tea club last month, but not the same. Um, this was a feature we did um, for a customer last year that was very popular, so we're bringing it back as a spring seasonal. Spring seasonals are here until August, so you have plenty of time. And then we have one new spring seasonal. It's called Spring Romance, so perfect for the outdoor setting. It's a lilac black tea. Um, I just love lilacs, I like the color of them. And so this is just a lovely uh, scented tea. It's very light, it's delicate. Um, it just really puts you in a spring mood. So I hope you'll try to check that out. It's called Spring Romance Lilac. It's beautiful. With, you could smell this, uh, smell the vision. We don't have that pioneered yet. We're working on it, so give us time. And then even better, um, we have three new Forever blends. So Forever teas, we'll have them as long as we can. Um, so three new flavors. We haven't had new flavors in a while, so it's exciting. We have Custard Apple, which is a Cherimoya herbal tea. If you're not familiar with a Cherimoya, that's a fruit from Asia, and it tastes like a creamy apple. So we thought, what better way to take a twist on the apple herbal tea than doing Custard Apple? So it smells amazing. You're going to have to try it if you haven't heard of Cherimoya. It's a lot of fun. Um, in Australia, they call a shermoya a custard apple. So we called it that because otherwise people are like, shag, what? Well, how do I say that? So it's custard apple. Um, I've been getting asked for this tea a lot and we finally now have it. Huckleberry, huckleberry happiness. Um, it has a bunch of different uh, berries in it. Um, huckleberry, if you didn't know, is a blueberry. Uh, we gave it a bit of an Oregon twist we were really thinking about jammy blackberries and marion berries when we were making this tea. Um, so it has just a really rich berry, berry taste to it. And I think you really like, and this is a black tea. It's a really great iced tea. You're gonna be drinking this all summer long and being very happy, as happy as a huckleberry. They don't talk, but I think they're happy. So we're gonna go for it. And then um, two more to go. Uh, this one, uh, I'm really excited about this. I've been working on this tea for like over a year. Uh, is a red velvet puer, so it's chocolate puer. The aroma is fantastic. It has cocoa peel and cocoa nib. Um, the taste, it's just like chocolate, uh, chocolate cake in a, in a cup, really. It reminds me of those molten cakes, like what you want them to taste like, and sometimes they don't taste as good. Uh, but this one tastes phenomenal, so 
really hope that you'll try this one out. If you haven't had a pu'er tea before, it's a great one to try. I mean, it's chocolate. How bad could it be, right? Um, so excited about that. And then last but not least, we have a holiday tea again this month. Uh, Lucky Irish breakfast. Chocolate, almonds, cream. Uh, sort of like, you know, your favorite Irish liqueur in a cup without the uh, alcohol. Mm. Tasty, tasty, lucky Irish breakfast. It's got a nice breakfast uh, base and it's only available this month. So if you want to get uh, lucky the Irish, get on top of that. So I think that's all of the new teas and the specials for the month. Uh, there's a lot of new flavors, so we wanted to offer something for everyone to, you know, um, help people uh, try new flavors or stock up on old favorites. So all month long, um, your first order, if you use the word bouquet, you'll get 15% off and free shipping. So if you're in the tea club, uh, you don't need to use your extra code or anything. You just put in bouquet and boom, there you go. So if you're looking to make a big stock up this month, that code will work all month long. So that's what we have for you. It's a full month between crafts, and spring florals and trying out those new interesting flavors. So um, thanks for uh, bearing with us being outside. Um, it was so nice. I was like, let's just go outside. And Jenna, who is manning the camera today, was like, uh, sure, that'd be a great idea. <laughs> but it means uh, we couldn't have as much of an uncontrolled environment. So let us know what you thought about uh, us being outside. Should we be in random locations more often or not? Um, I'm really surprised that Portlander has not stopped to ask us what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it does feel weird to be sitting on the sidewalk in a chair, waving around bags of tea. But you know, I'll do whatever it takes for you guys. So thanks for listening in. We'll have a live Q&A uh, episode where we'll be taking questions later this month. So be sure to look on the Facebook page for the event listing for that. So you can get your Q submitted in advance to get aid. Otherwise, take care. See you guys. Thanks. Bye.